Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Lintz, and welcome back to episode 32? Is this 32 or 30? No, I think this is 33. 33 of my Let's Play series of Dungeon of the Endless. Okay, so I got kind of fed up with uh, being such a poor position the last uh, run, so I went back to easy mode. I know, disappointing, but... Sacrifice. It was a sacrifice that needed to be made. Uh, we will definitely build in here, and she will operate that. Uh, these two will go back into here. And sorry for that brief pause there. Uh, where were we? We were going into here. Another pretty excellent room with some science in it. I'm definitely down for that. Um, so I might actually. Um, yeah, I'll explore up here. And I can't remember if anyone else I have has operate or not. I have to take a quick look at that. Uh, Scroig does not have operate, and if anyone would have it, it would be him. So it does not appear to be the case. Um, yeah, why not? We'll level up Sarah Numas real quick, and uh, we will go to the right over. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Okay, well, not the end of the... Mm, no. No. I'm not going to deal with you. I'm not going to deal with you at all. And I might actually... Hmm. You can be science for now. And you can go back into... He down here. Sure. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And hopefully this is not a dead end as well. Okay, it's not a dead end. Thankfully. And it's actually more science as well, surprisingly enough. Um, let's keep going here for now. Very interesting floor layout for... Um, you or Dina Ratchet. Might not be a terrible idea to have you. And can I level you up right away as well? Uh... Might not be a great idea to do it right away, but I'll do it anyways. You get placebo, heroes in room get 12 health regen. That's actually pretty good to have, so I'm okay with that. But you don't have operate, do you? No, you don't. So for now, you'll just hang out over there. Uh, Scroig, you can keep exploring the deep dark depths of the dungeon and... Okay, uh... We have, like, a Crystal Runner guy. Uh, not too sure how I feel about that. We'll just deal with him, and then everything is good and dandy once again. Um, the floor layout is a little bit concerning right now, um, as well as the fact that we aren't really getting a whole lot of dust. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, gone rid of that dust factory. We'll see if that's a bit of a mistake. Although, having that module there, I feel as though it will be helpful later on. Um, yeah, we'll go up for now. See where that goes. Leads to another path with more enemies. Uh, this time, a crystal basher. And we'll just try and kill that guy. We almost have enough dust to lay up another room. If I were to lay up one, I think it would be this one. Do I want to place another module down? That's the question. And if so, which module? I almost like the idea of placing down a land module, especially if I can just cut off this entire area up here, but it's also terrifying. Uh, we'll see if this is a huge mistake. And you really don't need to operate that, as far as I know. Um, you can go into here, and can I level you up again? No, I can't even level you up again. Wow. Okay, uh, Skroig, you can go this way, I guess. I really hope placing that module down was not a major mistake. Um, 
Let's see what you have, even though I probably won't be getting anything from you. If I were to get anything, it would probably be a survival kit, but I cannot afford that in the slightest right now. So you are actually of zero use to me unless I have something to sell to you. No, I don't. Okay. So we will just keep going in this direction. Pretty sprawling floor. Um, enemy... Nope, no enemy waves spawning yet. Although no more dust has been found as of yet either. Which is a little bit concerning. Um, might actually level you up real quick. And thank goodness you finally got operate. That is actually pretty good to have. Um, we found the artifact, and there's two enemy waves incoming. Not too sure how I feel about that. Nothing too terrifying, at the very least. Um, oh, and they're killing the merchant. Okay, so... Oh! And that's the end of the enemy wave, okay. So you'll go back in there, you'll go back down here, and you will go back in here. And do I research the artifact yet? Depends on what it has. It has Industry Generator 2, Nero Sun Prisoner Prod 2. I kind of like the idea of getting Industry Generator 2. So we'll go for it if this goes down. That'll suck, but it won't be the end of this run. And I found a cryo capsule. Okay, and the guys are spawning in there. Everyone else needs to make their way over here. So Scrog needs to make his way back down here. And we'll just uh, kill that thing and make our way over here and kill that thing. And that'll be the end of that floor, or that wave, I should say. Um, so this crowd generator is a interesting proposition. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it or not, but I'm very tempted to. Worst case scenario, it's a toxic cloud and a waste of in uh, industry, which would suck, but it definitely is not the worst thing that could happen. Uh, kind of honestly actually want to build another industry generator. Actually, now I can't get this. What am I thinking? Uh, I'll need 20 for it. I'll ignore it for now. And that is the signifies the first dead end that we will encounter. Uh, and uh, we will just kill that guy real quick and yeah, that was fairly easy. He's just gonna keep walking through there. That's absolutely fine with me. Skrog is just too awesome for words. Yet again. Ah, okay. So you're gonna go back down there. You're gonna go over there. And you can stay in there for now. And let's uh, go over here. Still intrigued as to how the whole industry generator 2 is it's up and running now. That is excellent. And another merchant, actually, which has a scope which increases wit and unlocks operate. Very interesting proposition. Uh, restrainer, that would be a huge, huge pickup. Uh, do I power down? Actually, I can't really afford to power down rooms right now. Starting to slightly regret taking down that uh, dust uh, generator or whatever it's called, but um, for the time being, I'll say that I have had no regrets. Um, okay, so you're just gonna trudge through that. Okay, and we get land module 2, which would be pretty awesome. Uh, auto dock shards, Tesla module. Tesla module might be worth it. But then again, um, 
You know what? Yeah, we'll invest in this because I should have at least three more doors. Yes, at the very minimum, I have three more doors. And we will see what comes of these three doors. Now, you should probably actually level someone up right now while I have a chance to. Probably Troy Pequeño. Doesn't get anything but stats, but that's absolutely fine with me. And we've... okay. Mm hmm Okay. We've encountered a dead end, but it's also the exit. Not too sure how I feel about that. We'll see. I go back down here. And, uh... Kind of worried about this artifact here. I can't remember how many more doors I have till it's opened. I think it's another two. Oh uh, yeah, another two doors before that's activated. That's a little bit terrifying, but we'll see. Uh, another dead end. Um, not too sure. Uh, there's more food in there at least, and no enemy waves found. There's been a surprising lack of enemies found on this floor, to say the very least. Um, we will go over here. Still not a dead end, um, so I might take this opportunity to level up Scroig. Doesn't get any abilities, just stats, but that's absolutely fine with me. And I found a new item, and Tesla module unlocked. I found the toothpick, oh, okay, that is a good pickup for Scroig. Oh, unless I already have the toothpick. And a green one at that. And I don't think anyone else, yeah, no one else can use those weapons. So, Troy Pequeno, you will take this opportunity to talk to the merchant and sell him our toothpick for three. Hmm. That isn't great, but it's something. And as far as what I should do next, um, I may actually just open this up even though I, mm, okay first of all let's see what's in here tier gas that would have been a huge pickup but for the most likelihood of this being the last door of this floor I don't think it's worth it however I do think it might be worth the possibility of getting food even though it could just be a, another party member which we cannot pick up let's see here and it is food, okay. I'm so glad I went through with that. And it was 23 food at that. And actually, I don't care too much about that artifact now. Um, so we will go through here. It was not the last room. And there's actually some kind of terrifying people in there. Uh, so you two will go into there. And actually, it looks like as if that might be it for enemy waves. So that is absolutely fine by me. Uh, Troy Pequeno, you can go back up to there, you can go back to there, and you can go back into there. And, uh... I feel pretty good as far as my current situation goes right now. Do I want to level someone up? I kind of want to, uh... We'll level up Sarah Numaz. She gets double repair, okay. Not too sure how that works, but we'll see. And, uh, still not the last room of the floor, surprisingly enough. It doesn't contain more enemies, which I'm not a huge fan of, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world. Hmm, okay. Another few coming in through here. You can make your way up into there. And it's seven for the Tesla module. Hmm. Might build one, two. See how that fares us. And those two are absolutely fine. Mm, yeah, everything's absolutely fine up there, actually, so things turned out a little bit better than I expected to. And we will go into here. No, 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 no. Uh, 
You will go into here. You will stay in there. Naturally, I'm glad that I put those there. Now that I think about it, because I'll need to be making my way over there eventually. Um, Skroig, you will keep exploring, even though it's probably not very advisable to be doing this much exploration, but there could be a vital item or just more enemies. Um, okay. So that leads me to some interesting possibilities. One... It could mean me if I get okay one two okay so that actually was pretty good because now I don't feel as bad about shutting that down and uh, was it in here that the merchant was I can't remember assuming they still alive yes he is still in here twenty three I was wanting to get restrainer that's right. Who would benefit from it the most? Uh, HP regen, max HP, and lots well, of defense and attack cooldown 0.1. Uh, okay, defense 21, 28, 27, 22. I actually almost want to give it to Troy Pequeno and then just give uh, Dina Ratchet the other armor. So he technically has less armor in that case, but. Uh, Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And she gets the prison uniform, unless I actually uh, may as well get the better one. So I'll sell this one. I have 59 now. Mmm, I could get happy pills for someone. Does that unlock any abilities? No, it doesn't. But that is fine. Um, you get more wit if I, you get that? Sure. Why not? And I think that's all I'm willing to sacrifice. So now it's going to be a bit of a, just a slight bit of a harrowing uh, trip to the uh, end of the level. But I think Sarah Numaz has the speed to make it to the end. Like with 46 speed, that is just ridiculous. I'm always. So surprised whenever I look at how much speed she has. Dina Ratchet is actually really slow. I didn't realize that. Um, I think I'm gonna set up any more things. I might put one Tesla module in there. Other than that, though, I think I feel fairly confident picking this up and making my way to the exit. It's not going to be a terrible crystal run, but it's going to be slightly harrowing. Although, with only two waves incoming, that's not too bad. Especially uh, considering uh, what enemies there are. Uh, and yeah, this is going to be an easy crystal run. Yeah. So that is the end of the second floor. I think that was the second floor. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to this point of the video, feel free to support in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot. Uh, and if you want to see more content like this, you can always subscribe to my channel. You'll be notified whenever I upload a new video of either this or of any other kind. And your support with this series has been tremendously helpful so far. And thank you so much for watching. If you, uh, And until next time, have a good one, everyone.